Hey Aries, it's Ahara Stars with the Loom Astrology and Tarot. Doing your love reading now. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I know, I'm sorry I've been missing for a couple of months. I don't want to get into that too much, but I'm happy to be back. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm sending you positive energy for all the best as always. Um, this is going to be a love reading for those of you that are, that have a person of interest or are in a relationship about what's going on with your current situation. And I'm going to do a singles one right afterwards. So pay, um, I'll try to tam, uh, timestamp it at the bottom, um, where you'll have, um, the, the first part and the second part for the singles. Okay. So if you like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com or you can just send me an email at illumastrology at gmail.com. All right, Aries, let's take a look at your person of interest and see what's going on with them, their current feelings, how they're feeling about you and what's to come. Aries, please tell me about the person of interest. Wow, this was showing up in your first overall reading. If you look at the overall, the same cards just popped out. How funny. I had did the month, um, I did the overall month. You can take a look at that one in my playlist for those of you that haven't looked at this one. But some of you have been having a little bit of uh, challenges with your person of interest. Okay, so those of you that have been in a relationship, you've been having little struggles, or you've been having some arguments, some fights, disagreements perhaps some separation that's caused some insecurity or uncertainty in the direction. Or I feel like for some of you, because it's going to be different for all of you, okay? You're all involved in diff with different people. But what I'm getting is your person has been going through some frustration, okay? They've been dealing with a lot of frustration and maybe have been acting out irrationally or not, you know, as they normally would because they've been frustrated. And I feel like this person has caused you some frustration if this is your partner, maybe you guys have been experiencing frustrations or one or the other has, and, and it's caused some insecurity, or um, it's the, this person is what I'm getting from them, is they've been dealing with some frustrations, a lot of frustrations, and it's caused you to feel insecure and maybe act out, or they've been acting out, however it resonates, but I do see that there's been some struggles going on here, some fights, some arguments. How they see you is they see you as the green woman, okay? The woman that has it all. You balance out the energy. You guys get a really powerful connection. You're a very powerful energy. They love and they respect you for that. They think highly of you. They feel like you're the one that's got it all. Um, there's something very warming about you, something very comforting about you. I feel like they feel like you, you protect them or you feel like they offer a certain amount of protection to you or they're very protective of you or you're somebody that is very protective this is how they see you okay um they see you and they are this can go both ways okay you guys just so you know when you pick up the energy in a general reading for all of you this could be the other person or it could be you either you've been going through all this frustration and aggravation and feeling insecure and going through challenges okay or you guys have been having some challenges as a result of one of you going through this. Um, either you see them as the person that is very protective, um, or they see you that way, that they feel protected by you, and that you have this very powerful energy. They love and respect you for your dedication, and they're very dedicated to you, okay? Um, you are going to reach fulfillment in this connection. They are going to come through, okay? You're being asked to be to pay attention to signs, to give it patience, and to trust the universe with the pole star here. Because some of you have been getting kind of bored with the situation. You've been you've been feeling like, you know, is this is this gonna change? You know, are we gonna get together? Whatever it is in terms of this four of vessels, feeling discontent, thinking about things, you know, just like what is going on. I feel like I'm gonna read for you, so I'm gonna say that this that you've been feeling this way 
with things not moving forward. You've been having some frustrations as of late, okay? Somebody's been acting out of insecurity. Maybe that's what caused it. Um, but that's because this person has been going through some major frustrations, okay? They've been dealing with a lot of challenges, okay? Um, but it, this is telling me that they are going to be making moves. You are going to be getting fulfillment on this, the three of bows. You guys are gonna start talking about your future and working things out or moving things forward, okay? But there, it's gonna take some dedication. If you, want this, if you want this to work out, you gotta be patient with this person and vice versa. If they want it to work out with you, they're gonna to have to be dedicated and put in the, and be patient. And I do see that happening because I do see this as, as being um, something that is divinely guided by the universe, okay? It's like divine timing of this working out. You guys have been going through some challenges, um, you know, and this not being fulfilled is gonna be fulfillment. It's gonna reach fulfillment for you guys, okay? So let's see. Kind of actions are going to come through here. They really do see you as the ultimate with the green woman there. And they feel safe with you. And you know, they they feel uh, they feel like you protect them or you try to or or they do you and you feel safe with them, okay? Somebody here is very dedicated to this connection. And I feel like if this is if this is you who's who's feeling feels this person is very protective of you, this person is very dedicated to you. If you're very protected, protective of them, then you're very dedicated to them. And the universe is working this out for you guys, okay? It's good, it's divine timing, okay? And you are gonna, like I said, reach fulfillment. There have been some challenges, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. You've been struggle, some aggravations, and it's been due to a lot of blockages and frustrations on one of your ends that's making one of you just act out. Yeah, you guys are going to be getting back together. If you're in separation, it's gonna you're going to come back together. It's going to be fulfilled, the Six of Vessels. This could be a past life connection as well for some of you. Some of you, it's with a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, or Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. Um, remember, you have to know their birth time to know. Yeah, there's been a little bit of a timeout. This person just needs some rest. <laughs> They've been overwhelmed. I mean, this is like this frustration can be overwhelming and they've just needed some rest here, okay? Um, there's been a little bit of a break, but they're going to be taking a leap of faith and moving things forward with you and wanting to reunite with you and work things out, okay? Um, and I see them definitely taking that leap of faith. They really want to work things out with you. They really want to be with you. They think very highly of you. Um, and... They're dedicated to this, and your dedication is going to be paying off as well, however it resonates, okay, because like I said, these are general energies. It doesn't have to be a water sign. This person is just emotional, very strong. I mean, coming across to the salmon, they've been going. I'm getting this person has been going through a lot. Now, this could be you, okay, if you have a sun, moon, or rising in water, or if you've just been going through a lot and you've been feeling heavy on the emotional side and just kind of like, I just need... So I just need to take a time out. I need some, I need a, a rest. And then I see you coming back and just being like, okay, I'm ready. Um, and vice versa for this other person. If it's a water sign, they want to reunite with you, sun, moon, or rising. Um, but again, it can be any sign because these are general readings and you have to know the birth time to know the rising sign. So let's take a look and see what this connection is about. Can you tell me about this connection to Aries? March 2021. Whoa. Aw. Cupid's arrow. <coughs> it says, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. There's been some hesitation going on, but Cupid has been working with you guys and 
I'm just being told that you guys need to have faith in this. It's going to come through. Okay, there's been some difficulties. I don't know how these got all screwed up, but let's get, they're kind of, I've been doing a lot of readings, so let me just fix this. Okay. What else can you tell me for Aries in this connection? Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And you know what? I was filling that with this protection. There's something dedicated and stable. There's a partnership that's very dedicated and stable, or this person is, okay? Um, or they see you that way, and it is going to have growth okay it's taking some endurance and some flexibility here okay but look at this how beautiful stability security permanence growth have faith okay have faith love is coming it's going to come together um and there's there's something very stable about this connection that's being offered but it looks like you guys are being challenged a bit um those of you that are been in a long-term relationship and this is your partner You've been having some challenges, but there is stability, security, permanence about this connection. It has the potential to go long-term or you have been already involved with each other long-term and you're just going through a difficult phase, but it's all gonna come through and everything's gonna work out because there's a lot of love here, okay? And we got talking, conversing more, messages arrives, text calls, email. So. However, you guys are going to be working things out and you're going to be reuniting with this person. So this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. What else do we need here? <laughs> Sounds like this is going to work out really well for you guys, Aries. So this is for those of you that have a person of interest that you're in separation or you're in a relationship currently. And now I'm going to move on to single Aries and see what's gonna come for you guys that are single and ready to mingle. Single and looking for someone, looking for the love. Let's find out what's coming. All right, let's see which deck I'm gonna use for this one. You know, I'm gonna use the same one because I love this deck, this is my favorite. I just absolutely love it. Can you tell me for single Aries? in their love life of what's to come for single Aries that are looking for love. three of arrows some of you've been hurt okay some of you single areas have been hurt and that's why you're looking for love you're ready to move on all right we got the ten of arrows so it's caused you a great deal of pain some of you areas have been through some really difficult times okay but you've learned a lot and you're strengthened as a result and you're ready and you know what you want and you're not willing to settle for less it looks like some of you are really moving on and leaving something in the past you single areas so what's to come you're on the hunt Somebody's got their eye on you is what I'm getting. Somebody is interested in you, Aries. And it looks like it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. That seems like they're coming in rather quickly. They are coming in rather quickly. Sun, Moon, or Rising. They got their eye on you, okay? Yeah, we got the Page of Stones. They want to start something solid with you. They are looking for it. You're going to be getting some communication. This person has been a little bored with their situation as well, unsatisfied with things that have been going on in their life. Um, and they're going to be making you an offer. We got the page of vessels, page of water. They're going to be expressing their emotions or feelings for you. It looks like it's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And you may, let's see. All right, so some of you may have two options, okay? Um, and I feel like 
there's going to be so a lot of passion going on there, okay? And they're going to be wanting balance. Okay, so this is going to be a very balanced person that's coming in here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, are rising. Um, I'm also getting Sagittarius for some reason, for some of you. Or a Pisces, um, Scorpio, or Cancer. But this person is going to be really wanting to, is going to be very balanced, is what I'm getting here. And... They're going to be very committed and there for the long run. Wow. Let me see. Single Aries. Tell me more. Some of you might have two choices. Could be a water sign or an earth sign. Sun, moon, or rising. Remember, you have to know their birth time to know what their rising is. So they could be any sign. That they're rising will be in earth or water or moon. We got the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Wow. Some of you have been dealing with... I mean, some of you are going to be feel, making... Um, Need time, takes time, time cycles, time to heal, progress. Some of you have been dealing, that's the thing I was getting here for you, those of you that have dealt with a really serious heartbreak, heartache. Um, for those of you that this resonates, you may need some time to heal, okay? But I feel like you're going to be, the cycle's going to be ending and you're going to be seeing some progress in your love life regardless. You do have somebody coming in, but just keep in mind that if you need to heal a little bit, you know, try to take that time to do so before you you um you know you jump into it with someone else because I do feel like you're gonna be really getting some clarity on what it is you want. I feel like that. I feel like a lot of you have been through it and you're just really ready to move on. You know what you want. And now this person's gonna come in. But for those of you that need time to heal from the past, uh make sure that you do that, okay? Because some of you are coming out of a karmic relationship. And, you know, sometimes you can have resentment and letting go and things like that or resentment. So just make sure that you heal up because there's somebody really great coming in and you want to be ready for them. Okay? You want to be ready. Let's get an Oracle card for single Aries for March of 2021. You do have new love coming in. So keep your options open. Get out. Socialize. Talk to friends. Follow your intuition. Um... You know, be, so you so you can get out and meet this person. All right. And you're being advised to let go of any illusions, okay? Embrace the truth here about this past situation is what I'm getting because that looks like, because I'm also getting the karmic relationship and, you know, the clarity, truth, and revelation coming through here. And I feel like that's regarding the past relationship for those of you that are having a difficult time letting go and healing. All right. And we got the owl. Follow your intuition. And that's the thing. When you're, when you're ready and you're out ready to meet somebody, sometimes you'll get these signs like, you know, or friends will invite you somewhere or you'll feel an urge to go somewhere. Follow your intuition because it's going to be leading you to this person. Okay? So make sure that you go when you get these hunches like, I, you know, I've got this feeling I want to go to this place or whatever. Go out there because follow your intuition. It's going to lead you to the right place. Uh, you do have either a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising that's showing up clearly here that knows what they want, and they're coming in for you single Aries, so you do have an opportunity coming for you. So this is what I got for you guys. Thank you so much, you single Aries, for uh, joining me. And um, I'm going to be doing mid-month readings, so if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do and click the bell to get notified. If you'd like a personal reading regarding your own situation, uh, you can either email me at alumastrology at gmail.com or you can visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. All right, Aries, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.